So my first, one of my first big opening gigs I ever got was for Ziggy Marley, and it was uh, at the Cape Cod Melody Tempo. And I, I thought to myself, I said, this is everything I've been working for, you know? And uh, the day of, I opened my guitar, and the, the bridge split on it, okay? And I had no time, I knew I had no time to go get this thing fixed. But I also knew it was holding up, so I would have been able to go play this show. And I was, I psyched myself, I was like, I got this, I'm gonna kill this, like this is, this is my moment, you know? So I get, I get to the venue, and if you've ever been down there, it's in the round, the stage rotates, and you're completely surrounded by people. And I get to the venue, and I go in there, and they're sound checking, and it's the kick drum, it's just like, doom, doom, and it's like the biggest kick drum I've ever heard, you know? And then I get terrified. And then all the bad thoughts start going through my head. Like, what if this? What if this crowd turns on me? There will be no escape. I will. I will be breaks. in a hole. What if the guitar breaks? Three hundred sixty degrees of people judging and hating at that moment. You know, but. I went and did the set, and it was a great house, and it was by far the biggest audience I ever played played to at that point, and it was a huge learning experience. At the end of the set, I I had this moment where I. I didn't rush myself getting off stage. The whole night was rushed. I was nervous. I was yeah. jacked up. The whole night was rushed until I, I essentially took a bow. And I, I remember thinking to myself, just give yourself a few seconds up here because this is such a positive moment. And it was also the realization where it was like, this, this, this could be it. This could be the biggest opportunity I ever get. And it, it, it wasn't, and it hasn't been. But it was a, a humbling moment filled with joy where I, I will always remember that and try and bring myself back to that feeling of saying, whenever you have any success, take a moment to appreciate it because it could be the last. Yeah, you are tuned into Evolvement Radio, always bringing you good, good music. My name is Michael Bernier. Big Ben is here with me. How you feeling today, Benny Boy? Today? Yeah, I feel a bit like a maladroit. Yeah, Ryan Inc. is in the building with Sling on. How you doing, brother? Slinging it, bro. Yeah, <laughs> straight slinging. David Corson, you look so nice. Thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm not slinging it, but I'm not, pretty good. Not sure. Our musical guest today is Jay Passaros. I love you, Jay. How are you feeling? I am feeling fantastic. <laughs> you also look really good. Thank you, Mike. We're excited to <laughs> hang out with Jay. Ask him some questions and watch him perform live. <laughs> yeah, it's Evo Rad. <laughs> if I'm in the store, right, I'm in my local record shop and I'm gonna buy a Jay Pissarro's album, what what section would it be and where do they place it? What's the genre? Put it in a hole. Probably folk, you know. Folk, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, is there even a singer song? Didn't take much genre? to catch that thrill. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking whiskey. He writes good songs. You gotta check him out. How do people check you out? What's the website, Jay? Uh, JayPasaresMusic.com. So J A Y P is in Peter, S is in Sam. My mother always. It'll flash on the yeah. screen right now. Thanks. Don't worry about spelling it. Yeah. <laughs> Pasaros. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> right on, Jay Pasaros. I love you, buddy. Love you too, man. It's yeah. good to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Jay. Ben. What's your favorite part of a bad show? Oh, that's a good question. Going home, getting paid, I don't know. I'm <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. yeah, music has always been such the main focus. You know, I, I love it. I can't, to the point where I can't say no about it. You know, I mean, anyone that loves this business will attest to taking the gig that, you know, costs them money, you know, mm -hmm, or doing sure. or doing something that set them back in a regard. But mm -hmm. it's it is all exploration. You know, the, I always uh, contribute getting gigs uh, to like fishing. You know, and it's in, in like a, like fishing. Like you may go perform out on a frozen lake for ice fishermen. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, you know, like you're actually fishing, like you're casting a line out oh, there. Yeah, yeah. It's exploratory. Metaphorically, right. metaphorically speaking. You know, I, I, I love email because every time I open it, I wonder what could be in there. Mm. You know, like this could be something cool. I always feel my heart jump into my throat. <laughs> yeah. I always considered myself a guitar player first. Okay. And I just, it was, I, I love the instrument. There was always one around the house. Um, so I, one of my idols is this guy Tommy Emanuel, who's like a complete guitar virtuoso, and he takes a lot of his stylings from like Chet Atkins and kind of old country yeah, stuff. I love that, yeah. yeah, he's really cool. Vocals, I never really wanted to sing, you know. Um, 
but I learned pretty quick, I think, that if I wanted to be more involved, it's a good thing to do. <laughs> so, aside from making beautiful music, what are you doing to make the world a better place for everybody to live in? Oh, man. Oh, geez, not enough, right? It's like... <laughs> When you go to sleep each night and you think about your day, do you most often feel comfortable with the human being that you are and the way that you are navigating yourself through this life? I do. You know, I mean, I don't ever... Of course, there's moments where maybe you, you get passionate about something. <laughs> yeah. you, speak, you speak your you mind. You want to go in on certain people. Yeah, but you, you we know. We'll talk about but, that. But that's just life, you know. So it it's is. like, of course, there's those nights where... You leave yourself questioning. You know, did I do the right thing? You know, was this was this the way that you know a, a guru would have <laughs> this situation? You know, so first of all, I watch a ton of movies, Same, yeah. and I can never remember them. I can't remember the names. I can't remember who's in them. I can't remember the plot. Um, I watched uh, Goodfellas last night. Oh yeah, on Netflix because yeah. it's up on now, and I was like, man, this movie's unbelievable. I love it. You no, know I love Adam Sandler movies. Adam Sandler, I love. I too. love like Happy Gilmore, you Billy Madison. You don't think much. You just kind of just. That's that's why I watch movies. Yeah. Happy Gilmore, you I think know? is probably my favorite. Yeah, I it's I like so. I, I'm not crazy about Adam Sandler, but I love like Happy Gilmore yeah. and Billy Madison. I like Super Troopers. Yeah, I just, love Super yeah. Troopers. Um, Goodfellas last night was great. I like a lot of like weird documentary stuff too. <laughs> I feel that. Ben laughing at me like <laughs> he loves the documentaries. <laughs> right, like he loves them. <laughs> what's uh? No, what was cool was uh like looking right in the camera now is uh, um, what's the thing with the guy on the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm talking to my mom right now. <laughs> yeah, no. David, I saw this one with the guy. Ozarks, in the show. Ozarks. Oh, that, oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. Jason Bateman from Arrested Development. From Arrested that's Development. That's what we're talking about. I know They're, exactly. Yeah, what about. it's the guy in the yeah. show. <laughs> yeah. See, I like that. You know, that was like I thought like the best thing that happened since Breaking Bad. Yeah, that was terrific. I'm rewatching Breaking Bad right now. Yeah, so. that's pretty sweet. Um, you know, Jurassic Park. So <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just Gone with the Wind. Is awesome. yeah. <laughs> you, ever see, you ever see Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you think I imagine the singer songer singer songers? The singer songwriters. Yeah. That uh, it's it's more of a lifestyle in a sense. Right. You know, I imagine it provides a certain freedom. Oh yeah. And that's probably what you really enjoy about being a singer songwriter. You know, this is hilarious, but also there's very great great question here. Um, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I guess I'm making more of a statement. No, question, no. All right, it? you know what? I can continue. I, I, I you know. No, in, okay. In ways, you're, you're right. So someone asked me recently what your biggest fear was, and I forget who we were talking with. And it was probably a group of friends. And someone says, you know, I'm scared. Uh, my my fiance is like horrified of the dark. Can't can't do it. You know. And when it came to me, I thought, what was my biggest fear? And I think my biggest fear wasn't the ability to. I don't want to say call my own shots, but the ability to dictate my own days. Mm -hmm. As these obstacles and struggles and strifes that are created in life come at you each and every day, do you feel that you overcome them with a positive frame of mind? Are you ultimately happy as a human? Yeah, I, you know, I think so. I mean, it's, I think it's a scary thing to be too happy sometimes, <laughs> you know, yeah. because it's, it's, I, I, it's always the moments where you're happiest where you get a check. Yeah. You know, or some, something happens or something goes down where you're like, Why do I feel so good? Right, and then you're asking yourself, why do you feel so bad? Almost immediately after you ask yourself why you feel so good, you know? It's usually just because it's really cold out. <laughs> yeah, it's freezing. But like, I, you know, I, I don't know, it's... it's I just kind of lost my train of thought. It's always been too much fun earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, a songwriter essentially, you know, so it's kind of, I, I'm always thinking how the, the songs, the guitar, and the voice match together, more so than what's, a, what's, you know, a great particular element of either performance, you know. Every day you can go out there and you can explore, mm. and you know while you're exploring, you're not, 
The purpose isn't to find something. The purpose is to be doing it. I must have missed my train Back to California I must have slipped and fell